Hello Virgo, I am Ulrich, I am a Lunar Monk card reader and today we will do the philosophical financial card reading for the sign of Virgo for the month of January. As always, we will do four card readings for the sign of Virgo for the month of January and these are based on the natural elements in your astrological chart or for some of you on your time of birth. These basic elements are air, earth, water, and fire. Now, the four objects that you always see on my table are directly connected to those elements. So you choose or you pick one that you think relates most to your personality, or you choose one you feel most comfortable with. The subject of your choice, it should or it will relate the best to your current situation. However, if the object and the related video does not match your first choice, please check the other videos that are immediately connected in the same session. I'm sure one of the four will fit you. Anyway, the matches represent the fire element, the stone represents the earth element, the aerosol sprayer represents the air element, and the shell represents the water element. So Virgo, here we go for your uh, financial philosophical card reading for January. Also, I want to mention, if you have questions, you can always post them in the comments below. Hello Virgo and welcome to the Shell or the Water Group for your financial philosophical card reading for the month of January. As the first card here, we see the card of the immediate satisfaction. What does this card tell us? Well, we all know we, that we uh, live in a world of overconsumption uh, and this card wants to uh, tell us that um, happiness, it doesn't come with the purchase of a fleeting object. Um, a lot of people of us, they look for fulfillment um, in a, buying a small objects, uh, things that make them temporarily happy. But as we think and as we know, uh, if we buy a fleeting object, an electronic gadget, a pair of shoes, whatever it may be that makes you happy, um, it doesn't last long, this feeling. And then, of course, we are confronted with the question, was this really worth our efforts? But society teaches us that in order to be happy, we need to consume more and more goods. Uh, if we follow TV commercials, it's unthinkable that we would be fulfilled without being well-dressed, having the latest dream electronics. And of course, we need to add the car of the year. Uh, so every year we work harder and harder to constantly obtain a feeling of satisfaction. But how we do this? Well, by buying, of course, by spending. But uh, it's by a multiplication of small and bigger, uh, bigger pleasures here that we come to serious amount of money. And we know that if we buy uh, small things, it don't fulfill us actually. So this card tells us to pull ourselves together, be aware of uh, nefast trends. Uh, here we need to see, this card tells us that we need to uh, adjust this, this situation and that buying fleeting objects or objects in general don't last uh, a guarantee of lasting happiness. Um, in general, it affects our life, it affects our wallet here uh, with these um, sudden uh, impulsive uh, purchases here. And here this card tells us that we should avoid uh, that kind of uh, purchases here. Most likely, um, you would uh, find your happiness uh, slowly, uh, mostly connected to the, to the card next to it. And these are your loved ones. Um, uh, most likely you will find more happiness there by loving the people close to you because the next card that we see here this, these are the people that love you the people that you love your partner your children your friends your family and here this card also it tells us of course uh, that you show affection towards these people but this card also asks questions this card tells you uh, or asks you if you show your affection by spoiling spoiling your loved ones and if this card is here, probably you do. So here, uh, sometimes it means that um, we are very generous towards our loved ones. We take them often out to dinner. We take them out to restaurants. Uh, we express our feelings uh, towards them by giving them small presents. Uh, if it's then their birthday or there's a holiday coming up here, uh, we are trying to find the, the rare pearl uh, in the supermarket. Maybe that makes their eye shines once more. But uh, this card tells us also that we cannot buy love. Uh, your loved ones will not uh, love you less because you buy them a less expensive gift. But here, this card tells us that uh, actually you can give them the most expensive gift of all, and that costs you nothing. And this is, of course, your time. The problem is that most of us have very few of it. 
And this card tells us to uh, take some time off with your loved ones, uh, make some quality time here uh, with them in private, show them your interest by valuing them, by giving them your time and not by giving them uh, gifts or uh, takeout dinners or restaurants here. Spend some time with your loved ones because uh, as we know, the best memories that we carry with us over the years are related to small funny anecdotes, activities that we do together with loved ones. And of course, it doesn't, uh, it's not connected to object or toys or whatever. So this card tells you to be gentle with yourself, see the positive impact that will come uh, from it. Um, and not only will it have a positive uh, impact on your finances, but of course, it will deepen also the relationship with the people close to you and the ones you love. The last card here is the card of social pressure. What does this card tell us? Well, um, we as human beings, we constantly compare ourselves to others, to our peers, brothers, sisters, uh, people who are close to us, neighbors here. And living in this community, it determines in general our place in relationship to others. We know that we operate in a society of overconsumption and our friends, neighbors, uh, people close to us, they drive around in new luxurious cars, wearing nice designer clothes, have the late, uh, latest gadgets, and maybe sometimes you, for your part, you're living through difficulties at the end of the month for your payments. And then you ask yourself, how do the neighbors, friends, relatives manage to get there? Well, this card tells you uh, to not compare your financial situations to people around you. We make choices every day for you and you are the only soul responsible for those uh, choices. So don't let others financial appearances fool you because this card tells us uh, you use your money uh, wisely so far and it, uh, it asks you to do so, to be wise with your money here. Um, if you need to make certain purchases, for instance, also this card tells us um, instead of buying new objects, we could consider, for instance, if we need to buy a car, um, we could consider a very young second-hand car uh, that comes with full warranty. If we need to buy things like a microwave or, or whatever, or, or an object for the kitchen, we could uh, check on some websites that are specialized in um, slightly used objects. Sometimes these things are still uh, packed with the full warranty with, uh, on them because sometimes people just buy them, they don't like them and they sell them. So this is a card that for using your money in a, uh, in a smart way here uh, and buying things maybe that are very young uh, or maybe never used here. Anyway, coming back to the essence of the card here, what looks good on the outside for neighbors, friends and whatever, it's not always so. So live according to your own needs, this card tells us, and your own abilities. Define your own uh, socially and by your uh, personality and by your accomplishments. And these are ultimate, uh, much more worth than clothes, objects. So don't bend for any social pressure. Uh, if, you, if you need to buy something, you can consider what I just mentioned, but but don't uh, bend for the social pressure of the group of friends, peers, relatives, or uh, people around you. So uh, Virgo, this is all uh, for the Shell or the Water Group. I hope you get a little bit wiser out of this short philosophical card reading. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. If this card reading don't fit you at all, please check the other three that are immediately connected here. I'm sure one of the four will fit you. Also, if you're interested in specific love card readings, or uh, more deeper financial card readings, you can also find that on my channel. And of course, the classic Lenormand card readings you can find there also. Anyway, Virgo, I want to thank you for your time. And I'm sure we see each other in my other videos. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for your time and bye bye for now, Virgo. Hello Virgo and welcome to the aerosol or the air group uh, for your short philosophical financial card reading for the month of January. As the first card here we see the card of awards or rewards that we give ourselves. Uh, sometimes um, if we work hard we want to give ourselves a reward on uh, or an, or an award here. Um, but here this card tells us instead of buying uh, or compensating ourselves with something that costs a lot of money, maybe uh, we should uh, consider uh, for buying uh, some uh, small things uh, for ourselves here uh, for, um, for buying some, uh, some things. For instance, 
if we go out, uh, if we want to reward ourselves and we come uh, home and it's cold in the outside, we have been out for a walk, we come back home and we reward ourselves uh, with a glass of warm milk. Uh, this is, of course, a very good feeling. In the other side, it's very hot outside and we want to reward ourselves. We can reward ourselves with a glass of uh, iced tea with uh, a lot of ice cubes. And it gives us, of course, a very good feeling here. Uh, here we see here that uh, we have uh, little rewards, but of course, sometimes we need to reward ourselves for our perseverance here, uh, but we must not overdo it. Uh, we must not destroy certain efforts here that we have done uh, so far. Um, of course, we deserve uh, rewards and awards, but we should think wisely if we reward ourselves and not make our wallet a bleeding. This is what it, this is about. So. If you want to reward yourself with something, take something that don't cost money. For instance, you go for a walk, uh, you read, you get some music. You cannot get things in the library that don't cost money. Uh, whether is it's idleness or activity, uh, get to know, uh, make a list what makes you tick and you will find rewards uh, who encourage you without breaking you financially. So this is what this card is about. The next card that we see here is our needs. What is this card? Tell us. Well, um, we all have our needs uh, and everybody has unique uh, needs here. Uh, every person is different here. Um, but here we see that uh, this card asks us to analyze our specific condition. Here this card asks us um, that we need to make a distinction between what we are obligated to buy and what we desire to buy. This card asks you to be honest and make a fair and precise analysis of your situation and identify uh, what you to believe are your essential expenses. But maybe sometimes these essential expenses were rather unnecessary. And the question then of course is, could you have done without them? Here, probably you could because else you would not have this card here. And by eliminating these incidental purchases, of course, you will improve your financial uh, health here. Uh, unnecessary and luxury purchases, of course, they have their place at the right time, at the right moment. But if they are surpluses, uh, they can have uh, a certain stress on your budget. Uh, and of course, then they have no purpose in being there. So here, uh, this card uh, wants to make you conscious and that you make clear decisions um, for doing this so. If you make clear and conscious decisions, you will be surprised how much more you will enjoy luxury gifts at the right time, at the right moment. So this card is actually about planning certain purchases and distinguish yourself from certain needs, needs and luxurious purchases. So you put them in a planning and you see what is really necessary. The last card here is the card of, um, repayment of debts. Maybe in this group, there probably are some people here who have accumulated some debts and maybe it's time for uh, taking the bull by the horns here. Uh, but this card tells us not to be discouraged if we have uh, small debts or open standing debts, it's by small steps uh, that we get there. So don't give up if you have a certain debt here before you start. Um, anyway, if you have certain loans uh, that you have difficulties to pay, uh, here, write them down. Uh, in their, um, in their respective rates here and uh, set certain priorities here. Um, if you have certain, uh, also we need to add here that some of, some of the credit cards here are very expensive. So if you have a very expensive credit card, um, compare the rates of your credit cards. Um, and of course you need to get rid of the very expensive credit cards first. You need to balance these out first. The more, the more cash you put on these cards, the less credit charges you will have and the more uh, you will save for putting back on the, on the cards here. It's important here that we start with the expensive credit cards that charge you a lot here, but you need to balance out here if you have certain arrears. Um, also, this card tells us if we are in a certain debt mode, we need to avoid making additional uh, expenses, buying what we exactly need. And if we buy compensations for ourselves, uh, do this in a light manner, buy things that uh, you don't need. You see here this uh, reading 
is very uh, hanging together here because everything is here for bringing yourself more in balance here. This is what we are seeing here. Then, of course, for finishing this card, when you have reduced certain debts, you will be able to uh, apply a, res a less restrictive uh, lifestyle here. So uh, take the bull by the horns. And if you have certain outstanding debts, of course, don't wait any longer and uh, make a plan. So Virgo, this is all for uh, for the air group for this month. I hope you get a little bit uh, wiser out of this uh, short card reading. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. If this card reading don't fit at all, please check the other three that are immediately connected here. I'm sure one of the four will fit you. If you have interest in love card readings, we do also specific love card readings. And of course, the classic Lenormand card readings, you can all find them on my channel. Anyway, Virgo, I want to thank you for your time. And uh, of course, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for your time, Virgo, and bye-bye for now. Hello, Virgo, and welcome to the Earth or the Stone Group for your philosophical financial card reading for January. As the first card here, we see the card of acceptation. We need to accept the current situation, what this, uh, this card means. Well, uh, sometimes uh, this points to a group of people, maybe they are uh, involved in this here, um, and uh, these people, um, they most likely like to improve their situations in life. They want to uh, improve in their life, which is normal. Uh, they want to get promotions here also, these people here. Um, so this card tells you, if you didn't achieve that yet, you should strive for that here. Uh, this is a very positive card in that way here. Um, if you are a uh, uh, lack of motivation here, though this card wants to motivate you uh, more here. Um, this is what this card is about. But also this card is, um, here it tells us that um, if we um, have certain wishes or we are always on the lookout for discounts, sometimes it has a negative effect on our finances. So this card here, it tells us that's important, that it's important now um, that we uh, take control over our budget. We can of course all uh, strive to the American dream of abundance and wealth, but here uh, this card tells us that we should balance ourselves out. Uh, we should realize here, this card tells us that um, happiness, it must, it's not necessary uh, connected to material uh, goods here. Um, but of course we need to, we also need to be realistic and we need to tell ourselves that we need our basic coverage. But there's a big difference between uh, aspiring to the American dream and uh, our basics that are covered. But anyway, this card tells us, uh, we also need to realize that um, in general, there will always be better people the are better off than we are, but also we need to realize that there are a lot of people who are uh, in worse situations that are poorer uh, than we are. The bottom line is here with this card, it's not what you earn that matters, but it's how you manage your income. So this card is actually by managing our uh, income here that we come in the next level here. Uh, what we are seeing here is that we need to find a balance between our income and our expenses. So whatever our income or our savings might or will be here, it's our action that determine uh, whether we are short of money or not. So this card tells you uh, it's good you strive for promotions and it's good uh, uh, that you strive for more money, but what is really uh, making you improve is that you balance out your expenses here. So improve your uh, daily life by spending within your means. The second card is the card of time. What does this card tell us? Well, this card actually tells us that time is not our friend. What does this mean? Well, in general, if we would have a uh, accumulated certain debts or we need to repay certain debts here, time is not our friend. Why is it not our friends? Well, if we have certain debts, that's come in general um, with interests. So if you don't repay your debts, well, it doesn't improve your situation. You are aware of that. So this card tells us we need to uh, take uh, charge of our situation. So don't wait until the holiday for making up a plan, but uh, make a plan of action today. If you don't make a plan, the situation will not improve. There's no such uh, 
time as a perfect time, but here we see that we need to act now. So make yourself uh, financially more secure by changing, for instance, certain habits that you have, maybe they led to a more difficult financial situation. Uh, if you don't know how you get there and you have certain financial difficulties, take a, a, a piece of paper, write everything down, what you have spent and see how you get there. This is about analyzing our situation and if we are in a difficult situation, how we get there. So uh, here this card tells us not to wait, uh, but uh, start, make a plan of action today, take the reins of your budget and uh, make yourself more stable here if you have certain expenses. If you would not have expenses, this card tells us that time is also not our friend and we need to build up a safety net for the future for our time. So this card is uh, always about time and that time is not our friend. We need to secure ourselves for the future here. This is what the card tells us. And here, this is the card uh, of the, of the uh, that we are becoming aware what we do with our money. Um, it's like um, the card of our conscious here. Um, and here we see that probably you become more aware of your financial situation. It's like here this card tells us we gain more awareness. Maybe you're thinking about improving your situation. Maybe you are already aware and I don't need to tell you this anymore. But here we see that there is an awareness coming in this group. Uh, of course, if we want to improve our situation, you are the only one who has that ability. So if there are certain issues, we, we need to take action here. We cannot hope for better days. We need to do something. You are the main architect of your life uh, and, and its sustainability here. Um, here we see also that we probably need to choose because be, between uh, improving and staying how we are. Here, um, also, we need to take under cons in consideration that sometimes in life we have unforeseen events. So, and these can, of course, also influence uh, our financial life or our life in general. So, here this card tells us you need to take note of all uh, these things here. You need to reflect about those things. You need to reflect about the future. You need to see for uh, that. Uh, unforeseen events may come in the future. It's not necessarily so, but this card wants you to make aware of this. Um, anyway, uh, write down uh, what you like about your current condition and write also down, down what you don't like. So list uh, your present and your future fears. Uh, make a list also of your hopes and plan. a plan of action is very important here with this card. And take a step, a step back and it's like a binocular here. You need to Look at the bigger picture where you want to go. So here, by taking a step back, you are giving yourself the gift of perspective. Uh, here, it tells us also, we, we, we love life and sometimes we are carried away and but, but all the advantages that life gives us. But here, this card tells us also not to be passive. Be, be aware of your situation and think about a solution here that would greatly uh, improve your existence on the long run. So for a go, this is all for the Stone Group. I hope you get a little bit wiser out of this uh, philosophical card reading. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. If this card reading don't fit you at all, please check the other three that are immediately connected here. I'm sure one of the four will fit you. Anyway, for a go, I want to thank you for your time. and. Uh, of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for doing so and see you next time. Bye bye for now. Hello Virgo and welcome to the matches or the fire group for your philosophical financial card reading uh, for the month of January. As the first card here, we see the card of resilience. Sometimes this card points that uh, maybe in the past we had a difficult time and we are bouncing back now. Um, here we see probably that we had difficult times and maybe now we come in a better uh, financial situation. Maybe we're thinking about where we are coming from. We are thinking um, about the advantage that we are better in a better situation here. Probably you learned uh, a lesson in life here. Um, and this uh, brought you further uh, in life and uh, probably you learned a lot here. Uh, this is what this card is about. Uh, many of us learn about uh, um, 
certain experiences and we change our life and uh, it points also that probably you change certain harmful, uh, harmful behavior especially uh, uh, related to the finances here maybe you became uh, aware of certain flaws and weaknesses that you had and you turn them into your advantages so this card tells us that you now realize this is what not, was not a question of bad luck but you so you saw now that these obstacles and these difficulties that you needed to overcome have brought you where you are now and they learned you how to bounce back anyway we see here um that probably the most of the storms are temporary over now and you have learned an important life lesson. The second card is the card of uh, mensualities or monthly payments. What does this card mean? Well, we all uh, have monthly payments. We have our telephone bill. We have our internet uh, services. We have insurances, magazine subscriptions. Uh, these uh, expenses are recurrent and systematic and uh, most of us don't pay attention to them. But this card tells us that actually you should, because a large proportion of people uh, don't even notice uh, that there are increases uh, on these uh, monthly payments. Uh, mostly, a lot of people sign in during a promo, and afterwards we don't control uh, these expenses anymore. But mostly a promo has an expire date, and that is what this card is about, and we don't notice if there is slight uh, increase in these expenses. Also, these firms in many countries are not obligated to inform us. So it means they have the right to adjust these, uh, these, these invoices. But it's us as an informed customers because we should know the law. And in many countries, it's like that, uh, that um, these, these changes are, uh, that are allowed. So here, this card tells us pay attention to time limited discounts, keep track of expir uh, expiration dates here uh, of certain promotions. If you see that, for instance, that your internet company changed your, uh, your billing, just call them and ask them to get you back in, in the old uh, system, uh, the promo system. And if not, you can always check out the competition here uh, with this card. Anyway, it's also about insurances uh, here. Um, Sometimes also it means that we need to check our insurance portfolio. Uh, if you don't know a lot about insurances, uh, maybe it's time you have your, uh, your insurances reviewed and you seek the advice of a broker. This is what this card is about also. And also this card is about expenses on our bank accounts. What does this mean? Well, probably you're already many years in the same bank. And you don't even compare because you have confidence in these people. But confidence is nice. But sometimes also without that, we know we pay too much. And this card tells us sometimes we need to go with current times. What does that mean? Well, this card is also related to internet banking. What does that mean, internet banking? Well, internet banks are very cheap. And then you tell me, yeah, but there will be an angle. Yes, there is. Um, there is the angle is here mostly with internet banks is that they are so cheap because they have no staff and they have of course no uh, they have no branches so it's not very difficult to make the calculation if you have no staff and no branches it your expenses lower i i hear you thinking and you think yeah but uh, can i trust that well the thing is, if you do a little bit of research, you will see probably also your own bank has an internet department that is not directly connected to them, but in another name. So here we need to see if we, if we cannot make a change because you will have to do very few efforts for saving 1,000 to 2,000 euro or dollar a year without you actually do anything. So you need to check if you cannot make certain adjustments here with internet banking also. And if you can adjust to the current times or you have an interest in that, you could consider here for saving uh, some money here uh, for evolving yourself, for making more security for yourself as a person. Maybe you can, can put that money in a savings account because of course it's better it's in your account that you pay uh, for the interior of your bank. Anyway, here we need to, uh, to ask ourselves questions and uh, reassess the situation. 
Anyway, uh, all these small amounts, these monthly savings, they make a, a very big amount uh, at the end of the year. So if you amount everything up, you will be in for a surprise what you save each month and on annual basis. So calculate all these small payments and uh, put that money in your own uh, savings account. The last card is the card about food. And uh, this card is actually very closely related because food is very closely related. Um, mostly most Virgos, they like to eat well and they like to eat healthy. And this is about uh, food. Uh, so food is important here for this group of people. Uh, but this card is also um, about that we probably buy a lot of take out foods. Uh, most of us uh, these days, we work hard and we have less time for cooking. Um, and uh, because we have less time for cooking, we buy a lot of takeouts or we buy uh, meals that are already finished in the supermarket here. Uh, but this card tells us actually to reverse this process and start cooking again. Um, why? Well, for, for starters, you will see if you, if you calculate uh, what you spend monthly on uh, takeout meals, uh, plus uh, meals that are already finished, plus uh, the, the, the pizzas that you, that you order out that are delivered in your home or uh, meals that are delivered in your home. If you make the calculation, you come here to a big amount of money. And this card wants you to change that behavior. It not only wants to change your financial behavior, but it also wants you to eat healthy. For instance, you go to the supermarket, you buy some fresh vegetables, broccoli, whatever, uh, and you start cooking for yourself. Of course, it will take some of your time. Uh, that, is, that is the other side here. But this card urges you to take your pots and your pans back out of the closet um, and uh, save on the big bill or the hefty bill that you have uh, monthly. So this card wants you to learn the... The, the culinary art again. So break free, free from the chain of spending or sometimes overspending from takeout meals and start cooking for yourself in, uh, again. So learn the joy of culinary art. You will eat better, you will feel more healthier and your wallet will improve. So uh, this is, of course, the eventual intention. So Virgo, for the fire group, this is all. I hope you get a little bit wiser out of this uh, short philosophical card reading. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. If this card reading don't fit your role, please check the other three that are immediately connected here. I'm sure one of the four will fit you. Anyway, if, if you would be interested also in the love card readings, we do also love card readings. And, and of course, we have the classic Lenormand card readings who cover uh, also your work, uh, your situation in general. You can find everything on my channel. Anyway, Virgo, I want to thank you for your time. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for doing so. And bye bye for now.